Hi everybody, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're just going to do a quick video for the newbies out there who might have started using their scene software with their new Faro 3D scanner. And they've uh, got themselves a project finished. It has been registered. They've got their green light. And maybe the project's very large. Maybe it's, you know, three, four, five, ten times what is on this particular screen here. Uh, and they're having a hard time. It's maybe crashing their computer when they load all the scans. Uh, there's any number of things that can happen when you're trying to load a large, large project without using a project point cloud. So what we're going to do today is just simply build this project point cloud. And as you can see, if we're going to go to the left-hand side, grab that main scans folder, and then view it in a 3D view, the first thing it's going to have us do is going to have us load all the scans in order to see anything. So as each scan loads, you see more and more of the project. As you can imagine, with a large project, and we've got customers doing 100, 200, 300 scans maybe in a day, uh, this would be extremely heavy and taxing on the computer. Uh, even with a, a ton of RAM uh, and, and a superstar computer, it's just not uh, it's just not smart to try to do your projects and, and look at them and load all the scans at the same time with all these point data being pulled up. So the easy way to handle this is going to be to create a project point cloud. That is very simple. You're going to see the same exact data when you're looking at it in 3D. But if you want to start using the data, you want to start using clip boxes, you want to actually make the 3D uh, you know, visualization more usable to you as a company, you're going to have to use Project Point Cloud. So uh, let's go ahead and close that viewfinder. The right hand corner on the top here, you see Project Point Cloud. And again, the reason for this is to be able to look at your entire project, your 3D project, uh, and not be too taxing on your computer. So we're going to create right click on this or left click on it hit create. We're going to go ahead and save it. Now this is going to take a few minutes and the larger the project, obviously the longer the time it's going to take to do it. So you're beginning to, you're going to save it first. This is your default screen that's going to come up. Uh, most of you, I don't recommend changing anything. Set everything, keep everything at the default settings and just hit OK. It's going to churn along. Uh, again, this is a small project. It might just take a few minutes, but let it do its thing, and then we'll take a look at it when it's done. Creating the point cloud for a small project like this took about seven minutes. So what we want to take a look at here is what we now have available to us. Without any of these scans being loaded, so we'll just go ahead and manually unload them. And we can actually just jump into the project side here and then jump back into Explore. And you'll see without any of the, the scans being loaded, we can see the project exactly the way we saw it when we had the, the uh, scans loaded. It is much faster. And you'll notice when you've got a large project, when you're, you've got some lag when you're looking at the 3D view and all of your, your scans are loaded. With the Project Point Cloud created, none of the scans are actually loaded. The uh, looking at the project is just much, much cleaner, much faster. Another thing that you can do, take a look at it from the top. And uh, if you don't know how to create a clip box, right in the center of the top here, auto create a clip box. It will allow you to just center in on whatever the one thing is that you want to look at. In this case, just one plane. Also, if you want to align the clip box, maybe with the wall, or in this case, the actual plane, let's just go ahead and rotate it.
There we go. Quick and easy. Gives you the ability to utilize some of the things with Faro scene that uh, you see done on different presentations. If you are new to using the scanners and the software, uh, this is going to be something that is really invaluable to you uh, when you start working in 3D. Thank you. Good luck. Let us know if there's anything that we can create to help you in your job. Creating the point cloud for a small project like this took about seven minutes. So what we want to take a look at here is what we now have available to us. Without any of these scans being loaded, so we'll just go ahead and manually unload them. And we can actually just jump into the project side here and then jump back into explore. And you'll see without any of the, the scans being loaded, we can see the project exactly the way we saw it when we had the, the uh, scans loaded. It is much faster and you'll notice when you've got a large project, when you're, you've got some lag when you're looking at the 3D view and all of your, your scans are loaded. With the Project Point Cloud created, none of the scans are actually loaded. The uh, looking at the project is just much, much cleaner, much faster. Another thing that you can do, take a look at it from the top. And uh, if you don't know how to create a clip box, right in the center of the top here, auto create a clip box. It will allow you to just center in on whatever the one thing is that you want to look at. In this case, just one plane. Also, if you want to align the clip box, maybe with the wall, or in this case, the actual plane, let's just go ahead and rotate it. There we go. Quick and easy. Gives you the ability to utilize some of the things with Faro scene that uh, you see done on different presentations. If you are new to using the scanners and the software, uh, this is going to be something that is really invaluable to you uh, when you start working in 3D. Thank you. Good luck. Let us know if there's anything that we can create to help you in your job.